All right, welcome to my Majora's Mask playthrough. This is part one, obviously. Majora's Mask is one of my, if not my absolute, favorite video games. And if you'll notice, um, I'm playing this on an emulator. The sound is a little bit screwed up, but it's still all right. Wait, come on, <laughs> laugh. There we go. So, yeah, pretty much. If you've never played this game before, you should seriously go out and play it. I mean, you can't get it on the you can't get it on the virtual console yet, um, and you can't really you can't really get it uh, on GameCube or anything without finding it on eBay or something. I don't know. You know, let's not go with brand for this file. Let's go with the old classic. Mm, yeah, why not? If you know what that's a reference to, let me assure you, I'm not as huge of a fanboy as everyone else. But anyway, let's go. I also named my Yoshi in Paper Mario 2, Fagballs. Anyway, in the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend held closely, or dearly, or whatever, I missed it. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey. I'm sorry, I can't read this without sounding stupid. <laughs> um, I've gotten 100% on this game twice now. Once when I was a kid and I got it on the N64 the day it came out. And later, when I played it on my computer. And now I'm playing it again, obviously. But yeah, if you've never played this game, um, I really do suggest you go and download it and play it. And if you have a Wii, buy it when it comes on the Virtual Console, because it is worth the money. And like I said earlier, it's one of my favorite games, possibly my favorite game, completely. Because I can't really think of any game that I like more than this, but at the same time, I'm hesitant to call it my favorite game, because it's very... I can't play through it constantly, it gets boring after a little while, but I can just, I get 100% and I don't want to play it again right away, but I do want to play it again later, in like a year, you know, like I'm doing now, basically. <sighs> I'm a little bit sad that I have to do a playthrough of this, because really, once you've done a playthrough of a video game, there's not much left you can do with it. It kind of takes all the fun away. Anyway, here's our antagonist of the game. The Skull Kid. It's revealed near the end of the game that this is actually the same Skull Kid from Ocarina of Time. The one in the forest that you give the Skull Mask to. Or at least it's implied. And he, those are our badass fairies. We'll get to know them later. And that's our horse, who seems completely oblivious to the fact that Link is getting molested by the Skull Kid. Doesn't seem to care in the slightest. Oh my god. Got a blue instrument. I assume you can read this for yourself. I don't. I'm not too good at voice acting, so. Well, you know, I don't feel like reading all the text really. Not nothing to do with my skill in voice acting. One thing I don't like with this game. Well, I do like the animation, the cutscenes. It's very good actually. But um, for an N64 game, of course. But, um, I don't like how long it takes to get into this game. It takes something like six parts just for me to, to uh, get into the main quest. Which is quite annoying. Even then, I don't even get to the first dungeon for quite a while. <laughs> anyway, but, you know, for now, we're getting dragged across the blurry, pixelated grass. Yep. I do think this game has aged quite well, and... Apparently a lot of people disagree with me, but I think it still looks pretty decent. <sighs> Music's okay. And honestly, the game has... Yeah, this is just me testing out my controls. They're perfect, so, yeah. <laughs> um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, the music. The music in this game 
it's mostly recycled from Ocarina of Time, which is alright, because Ocarina of Time had pretty good music. Um, of course, like every old game, it's MIDI, kind of. It's synthesized music. There's no, you know, nice orchestrated music, but it's still pretty, it's still pretty decent. Some of the new tracks are really disappointing, and some of the other new tracks are actually really good, so it's kind of a mixed bag. And holy shit, a big pit. I hate when I fall down big pits. Does this have to happen in every game? <sighs> oh my god, a whole bunch of clocks and masks. Whatever those are. Oh god, not a flower. Uh. I have no idea what that sound is supposed to be. It's just it's just like he pulled a string and turned on a lamp but the light seems to be coming from a hole in the ceiling. Two different holes. The lighting just makes no sense. <laughs> what can I say? But yeah, like I said, the cutscenes are pretty good, actually. And I really do like the, the, the Skull Kid's little theme here that you're hearing now. One thing I like about Zelda games... Um, maybe not Twilight Princess, but every other one, is that they don't have, um, they don't have stupid pre-rendered cutscenes, at least I don't think they do. It just looks like everything is, you know, everything looks like the game, basically. It's nice. It's not cheap, like some games I can mention, like most Final Fantasy games and Kingdom Hearts. Suddenly, good graphics! It's ridiculous when games do that, like they're trying to trick you. That's an inverted Triforce, sort of. It's a really screwed up looking Triforce anyway, if you noticed it in the light. Oh yeah, we, we became a Deku, but nobody cares about that. I mean, the Skull Kid certainly seems to think it's amusing. So yeah, this is the big uh, gimmick, I should say, really, um, of this game. You're a Deku. You start out as a Deku, and you gain different forms throughout the game. And did, <laughs> did Tattle just, like, growl at me like a dog? That's amazing. Oh no. The purple fairy. The purple fairy is actually male, by the way. Whoa. The Skull Kid's not very um, observant, apparently. He doesn't even notice when he locks one of his only friends in this room. Yeah, and watch Link here. Completely, entirely still. Not moving in the slightest. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, this little girl wants us to help her. I mean, in real life, I know what kind of help I'd give her. No, I'm kidding. But, uh, yeah. But this isn't real life. This is Zelda. So let's, let's move on. Let's try to get out my controls. There we go. There's my shield. My shield. No shield, you might say. Anyway, and then of course, our Navi wannabe, talking stuff, saying stuff. <sighs> Alright, whatever. Why do we always have to have a fairy with us? At least she's not as annoying as Navi. And her name's Tattle, by the way. Now that we've all got that straightened out, let's move along. Press C up, which on my controller is select. And Link agrees. I'll see you in part two.